Welcome to the channel everyone. In this video, I'll be making a tool to remove the wheel flange from your DB grinder. Now the wheel flange is this black part. Um, normally your DB grinder comes with the following key which allows you to undo this nut. And by undoing this nut, you can remove your wheel from the flange and swap it to a different one. So why would you want to swap flanges and not just swap wheels? Obviously it's a lot cheaper to just swap wheels. Well the answer to that question is repeatability. The flange has a taper on the inside so when you remove it and put it back on it's going to go back on in the same position each time. Now that's not as important with diamond wheels as it is with stone wheels. But considering your DB grinder runs at about 5,000 RPM, any small imbalance is going to show up. Now naturally when you use a wheel, it's going to wear and self-balance. So that's why you want to put it back in the same position each time. Now the question you have to ask yourself is why did they include this tool and not a tool to remove the flange? Fortunately, it's fairly simple and easy to make and that's what we'll be doing in this video. So if we zoom in on the wheel flange on the DB grinder, um, you'll notice that there is this small hex bolt that pulls the wheel flange onto the shaft. In this DB grinder, it's M6. So let me just remove it and I will show you how we're going to make the tool. By the way, it's very helpful to put a washer under the lock washer on this bolt since taking it on and off, the lock washer has a tendency to damage the um, thread in the wheel flange. That's just something to consider. Now, if you have a look inside the wheel flange, you'll notice that it's got a thread of its own. Uh, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it's bigger than the thread of the bolt that pulls it in. So the way out, what you will need to do is you will need to find a bolt that has the same thread as your wheel flange, like this bolt. So that one just screws in on the wheel flange thread. And we'll need to machine down a portion of this thread to clear the threads of the bolt that pulls the wheel flange on and long enough that it will push on the bottom and pull the flange off. In this case, this is an M8 bolt and I need to machine about 29 millimeters of it down to about five millimeters to clear the M6 thread. So this is what we've ended up with. You can certainly use it on its own, um, but it's not very convenient, you know, having to have this tool and the key and another key to undo this um, lying around. So what I'm planning to do is put a handle on this and integrating this hex key into it so that I've got one tool to remove the flange bolt and the flange at the same time. Now, if you're following along and you're going to be making a similar tool, 
before you start making a handle for this I really strongly suggest you go and try and remove your wheel flange off your DB grinder because in my case it was on there like nobody's business it really took a massive amount of force to get that thing off um, and I was thankful that I had a hex head to really torque on it and get that thing off so now it's on to making the handle So I've gone ahead with the grinder and cut off the head from the tool and cut off a piece of the hex key. So now we've got everything to make the tool. So it's time to assemble it. I've drilled both of these holes undersized so when I heat it up and it expands hopefully I'll be able to press these parts in and it'll almost be like a permanent bond. So this is what I've ended up with. As you can see I've TIG welded it in and I've shortened the hex bit so that when you're screwing this in it doesn't contact the guard on the D-bit grinder. Anyway I hope you found this video useful and as always don't forget to like and subscribe.